Hey Katie, this week I didn't really know what to film, so I'm just going to film a Lush haul. I went to Lush last Sunday so Cody can pick up my mom's Mother's Day, pre Mother's Day present, or so she can pick them out. And I wanted to tag along because I wanted to pick up a few things myself. This is really my first big bath Lush haul. I picked up a couple things before, but I never tried any of their bath things before, so. I'm really excited to try them out and see how they are. I have pictures and descriptions of everything listed on my blog. So if you want to see more in-depth stuff about them, they'll be on there. I'm going to be reading off my phone. I have like the descriptions on my phone. So I'm going to be reading off of them just so I can kind of tell you what everything is. So the first thing in this little bag is little one and this is called the Butterball Bath Bomb. It is vanilla scented bath bomb that is everything but boring. The cocoa butter inside will rehydrate your skin and leave you sweeter and silkier skin. And it smells really really good. The next I got is this one. They all smell so good. I had it in my room earlier it was so fragrant and everything. I would have put it in the bathroom because it was overpowering and it was giving me a headache. This one is pink. Inspired by the delightful Audrey Hepburn, pink is sophisticated, sexy, elegant, and witty. It turns into a candy scented fantasy with fragrance that linger on your skin after you're out of the bath. It's sweet but not overbearing. It is very sweet but it's really pretty and really good. And like I don't want to use all of these. They're so pretty and they smell so good but I will use them. And then last in this bag is this thing and it has stuff from my other product on here. This is a tea tree toner tab. This steamer tab is best for troubled skin. It has tea tree oil that help keeps your skin clean and clear. So all you do is you just put it in a bowl of warm water and then you put your head over the steam that comes out and you put a towel and it just helps kind of clean your face out. And in the second bag I just have two more things. The first thing is this super cutie. It is a pink flamingo bubble bar. It's a re reusable bubble bar. It is filled with fragrant rosewood and sexy ylang-ylang, softening cocoa butter and refreshing bargamot to leave you feeling rosy. So I heard these give out like really nice bubbles and the scent's really good and but I think this pairs up really well with um, all the other scents so if I want to have bubbles with my bo bath bombs or whatever I can have that but it's just so cute I don't want to I don't want to use it up and then the last thing I got which is probably my favorite just because it smells so good is this really pretty one and this is called mm, melting marshmallow melt this is a melt that has cocoa butter and oil and it just kind of bobs around in your bath and it just leaves your skin feeling really silky and smooth and has like a cotton candy scent. It's really sweet but it smells really really good. Melts in. That's all of my Lush things that I got but since this is kind of short and I don't really have anything else to talk about. I'm going to share all of the things that I got at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter for my birthday a couple weeks ago. I don't think I ever posted anything, any of the stuff that I bought, so I'm like, might as well just tack it into this one. I got all this with the birthday money that I got, so it's kind of a birthday present. Yeah, I'm really excited with them. So the first thing, I'm going to be careful because I have my water in it, is this mug. It has the castle and like this really pretty watercolor really pretty watercolor and then on the back it says the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Universal Studios Hollywood in 2016. This is their like opening day memorabilia stuff. I was hoping that they would have a card with the castle on it because I think it's really pretty and I would really want one and so I could send you one but I couldn't find any, want any postcards anywhere. I don't know if I was looking in the wrong place or they just don't have any yet but oh well. The next thing I got is a Gryffindor lanyard. Uh, it just says Gryffindor has stripes and it has the Gryffindor 
the Gryffindor crest on it. I love it. Gryffindor pride. Two more things from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. This is another opening day kind of thing. I was told that it is limited edition. It is a coin. It has Hedwig or an owl delivering a letter. Hogwarts letter, I'm pretty sure. And then on the back it has um, Wizarding World of Harry Potter Universal Studios. It's like a limited edition coin. And it's bronze. Antique bronze co collective coin. And it also has the same picture that was on the mug and the Wizarding World Harry Potter 2016 on the back. But I thought this was really cool. It's like a cool thing I can put on my shelf or something. And then the last thing from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter that I got is this little keychain. And it's really cool. It has the castle and then it flips around and it has just says Universal Studios. But what's really cool is it says my name on it, which is awesome. I'm like, I don't know, pretty cool to have Wizard of Harry Potter with your name on it. Also, I wanted to show you, I got new glasses. I just picked them up yesterday and I really like them. They're pretty different from what I normally wear. I usually wear square ones and these ones are more rounded, but I like them and they have a cool little metal detail on the side. Nothing really exciting has been happening with me. I've just kind of been working on my blog a lot, trying to get that back up and running and posting regularly. I start work in a couple of weeks, the middle of June, so that will be fun and something to do over the summer. Congratulations again on getting the teaching position. I'm really excited for you. I hope you're having a great weekend and I will see you next week. Bye!